Well, good morning, everybody. It's uh, early September 2019. Uh, this is uh, Scott Robertson. I realized that I had not posted anything from my uh, Never Done and Always Changing uh, layout in some time, uh, my YouTube video channel. So I decided to give you a little update. Uh, we, uh, we just had an open house at the uh, National Convention here in Sacramento for the Narrow Gauge Convention. And as such, the layout was uh, pretty cleaned up, and so I thought I'd give you a little overview of uh, what's been going on uh, since uh, I last posted. Uh, as you can see, uh, I've completely converted the, uh, the upper section of my layout to uh, what I'm calling 124 scale uh, narrow gauge. Um, I'm calling that because the, uh, the buildings are basically uh, being... Uh, Constructed at 124 scale. I'm using the uh, cheap uh, train set Bachman track and I'm using uh, small equipment so it doesn't necessarily overwhelm the room. I'm using equipment that is uh, toy like, trying to figure out ways to make it more realistic to keep the cost down. And so it's just been a real adventure and experiment in, uh, in this scale, and I'm really liking it right now. And so again, this is a big conversion. It's a big change from my ON30 layout. And uh, these are just a little overview. This is uh, the town of uh, Cassidy. Uh, here's the uh, station at uh, Cassidy. A uh, little adobe building. These are the always and never minds, two competing interests here on, uh, on the railroad. I also have a small street scene this is the back street scene um, as you can see i've gone to a desert theme on this portion of the layout that's uh, partially completed i would call this probably about 80 percent completed um, in these areas and then i'm transitioning back into the original layout area um, where i retain the backdrop of trees and some of the hillsides and i'm going to go into more of a uh, a mountain scene uh, back there. So I'm going to uh, go through the duck under area right now, which uh, seemed like a good idea 14 years ago, but as you've gotten older, uh, as I have, it's uh, not as great an idea, but uh, let me go through and make it through. As you can see below here, I still have an ON30 layout that uh, is a logging layout that I'm still continuing to work on, although I've lost a little bit of interest in that. So coming back around here to this side, this again is the, uh, the town of uh, Cassidy, a little street scene here, a uh, little bar and uh, apartment room above. This is Nick Yu's uh, barber shop and the uh, laundry area here. This is yet to be described a building, probably an assay office, something like that. The uh, local gas station. There's a bit of a brouhaha going on on the street here as a very large borough got away. Uh, it's a pretty large borough and there seems to be a military installation nearby that's doing some sort of experiments and every now and then these large animals seem to get out there. You don't know what's quite going on over there. In the uh, station at the town of Cassidy. The Always Mine. This will have a, uh, a little uh, trestle for a dump coming out of that uh, top um, opening there just below the uh, name Always. It'll cross the tracks here and then dump out into some undisclosed area. A little toilet area here next to the uh, the station, a little pump house still to be completed with some piping going up into the tank. And as we work our way around, the always mine business side here. And then there'll be a small portion of the Adobe town, if you will, or other side of the tracks town here, one of the older sections uh, that will include various Adobe buildings, some wood buildings, a little square. A lot of little activity and then uh, Meeks Peak here in the background 
my little saguaro forest made from a clay um, saguaros that I had on an O-scale layout but I thought it would work as a uh, transition. Here we have uh, the view block wall as you come around and then there's a uh, makeshift corral area here for wild mustangs and horses where they're collected here in this uh, kind of box canyon and there'll be a little area here where they'll be able to load them onto uh, box cars or open gondola cars uh, for taking elsewhere for sale. Part of the encampment of where the cowboys are, here's one uh, bringing in a, a colt right now. And of course, as you know, as the book said, everyone poops. And so here's a little outhouse overhanging the canyon area. And a life and death in the desert. So now that's the area that's pretty much completed. Uh, little archway, I always wanted one of these. Um, this is becoming a little bit of a transition area between the desert side and as you work your way around here to the, uh, the other side, excuse the uh, light here coming through the windows, it makes kind of an unusual look. You're going to get my shadow here in a minute. This little station area made from an old uh, Bachman car that I thought was just a little too, or passenger car that I thought was a bit too large for, uh, for this layout. So I converted it into a uh, whistle stop station. There'll be a little building back here where the station manager lives. Again, some of that transition from the desert into the mountain scenery as we go around. And this is where construction is still underway. Big bear walking around. A friend of mine who uh, gave me some of his old Ragnans uh, castings uh, from a layout he tore out, I'll be incorporating into this area. You can see the backdrop from before. This will be kind of all open scenery area, kind of a transition zone between the next town. Up in this area, I plan on doing a mine uh, loosely based on Gunnison Mine by uh, Joe Crea. Be a little road leading up to that. This will be a retaining wall. As we come around this side here, this will be the town still to be named. I have some cabins in the background. Water tank. You can see here, as I like to say, sausage being made. Uh, I just built up over the existing railroad where it was all uneven. I'm just evening it out with a gator board here. It's the plastic uh, covered foam core. These are some of the building bases, um, trying to get a feel for the mock-up. A little small station area. There'll be a, I'm going to convert this uh, LGB uh, boxcar, European boxcar, into some sort of a tool shack. And then, again, more of the town. Still being mocked up, a little change in elevation. little building here that recently constructed using uh, oil paints. The door is actually uh, made from uh, paper textures, photo textures, including the, uh, the steel beam there. This is all made from uh, balsa strips that were then stained. And then the base is uh, photo texture uh, brick. So again, this will be the town here. As you come around, very simple. A lot of activity though, a lot of buildings to construct. Something I like to do a lot of. And a little transition scene coming back here. Possible location for this cabin. I constructed some time back. And then in the background, as you can see, uh, that's the O-scale mine that I had in the background. Um, I may leave it there, it's kind of a, uh, 
compression scene, forced compression, forced perspective, excuse me. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do up here, but maybe there'll be another small mine um, in this area. This is a transition of where I used real rocks. And then it transitions back into some of the Bragdon's and some of the Frox material. And then again, back into the uh, town of Cassidy. So I've been having a lot of fun with this. It's uh, been a real adventure. Um, it's been a good time. I'm still looking at working and finishing this lower section down here. This is the yarding area, the ON30 yarding area. That will and transition into a small town that I'm still working on. And then eventually goes back into the woods, around to the other side where I have uh, the ON30 layout uh, down below. So with that, I'm going to leave you all. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll try to update a little bit more as I make some more progress. This has been about two years worth of work since I started transitioning uh, the town or the uh, Owen 30 layout to what I'm calling 124th narrow gauge. Thanks again for watching. Scott Robertson signing out. Bye.